show starts in five minutes. We're happy to have you with us this evening and want you to enjoy every minute of your stay here. And while you relax and stretch, visit our concession where you'll find something to please you. There are ice cold drinks, delicious sandwiches, ice cream, coffee and snacks, and many other pleasing treats. Our foods are fresh and tasty, our drinks satisfying and refreshing. They're so good. You get more out of life when you go out to a movie. Show starts in four minutes. To visit our snack bar and treat yourself to some delicious Castleberry's pit cooked barbecue sandwiches. Cook the Castleberry way slowly over open pits of glowing charcoal, then seasoned with a sauce that's zesty, yet delightfully mild to please the entire family. Also at the snack bar, you'll find popcorn and soft drinks and candy and french fries to go with your Castleberry's barbecue sandwiches. There's plenty of time before the movie starts, so visit our snack bar right now for Castleberry's pit-cooked barbecue sandwiches. Still plenty of time to come and be served at the refreshment center before showtime. Show starts in three minutes. starts in two minutes. Your attention, please. All new hotshot electric in-car heaters have been installed for your comfort and convenience. Just insert heater through car window and turn on the switch. When leaving, please turn switch off and replace on speaker post. Warning, high voltage. For your own safety, do not attempt to repair or remove wires. Do not attempt to open heater unit. If you need assistance, please notify the theater box office or concession manager. starts in one minute. Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater. the show. Oh, she. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome on into the Fuzz Factory. It is December 13th, 2021. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic start to the week. It is sadly Monday, but we got through it, ladies and gentlemen. Jabam! How's it going? Yo, Fozzie, how's it going, dude? Good seeing you, Johnny Scramby. How you guys all doing tonight? I know Ragni popped in here for a second. Hope you guys all doing well. You guys get up to anything sexy this weekend? What did you guys do? You guys doing all fun things? Uh, I know that Christmas is like, what, two weeks away now? Absolutely terrifying. 
you guys get all your Christmas shopping done? What are you guys getting getting your significant others and stuff for Christmas? Uh, do, do people even buy gifts anymore? That's the thing. I, in, in Discord, you know, we're talking about how you only buy gifts for, like, the kids. We live in a weird time, Chad. We live in a weird time. But here we are. Um, what do I got? Do I got any housekeeping? Do I got any housekeeping for, for stream today? Um, you know, we talked about the Pokemon thing, the lure, the prices have been changed. Oh, the only thing, you got your son a bunch of Lego? So you can build them? Nice. Wait, 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 hold on. So you just had a daughter, right? So you had another kid, right? How old's your other kid? How old's your son? And what kind of Lego? Is it Star Wars Lego? Yo, what's up, Gat? I always forget you have a daughter too, man. It freaks me out when I think that you're a dad, Gat. Not because I don't think you're not capable of being a father, but because I feel like you're like 19 years old. <laughs> but here you are. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Yo. Because you look 12. You look 19. You look 19. Star Wars Lego, Pirates Lego. Dude, dude, one day I'll show you guys. I have this big table in my base, actually just like on the other side of this wall of just pirate Lego. It's crazy, I love pirate Lego. The painting of gifts for someone in another country. Dude, if you need... <clears throat> Yo, regular guy coming in hot. Oh man, four That's months already, we are five already. months away from that Twitch baby. Ooh, let's go. You know you got a wheel spin coming your way, regular guy. You know you got one. But uh, I just gotta do a little bit of housekeeping here first. So the only thing that I can think of that I've done differently because during Jackbox, uh, we, we made these really stupid, we made these really stupid t-shirts in one of the games. And so, as a joke, I made an emote, and I don't even know if it's even here anymore. Yeah, it is. The Band Banana, look at that. We got the Band Banana, Chad. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> we got the Band Banana. But yeah, that's all I got for, for housekeeping. That's everything. <laughs> that's it, that's it, Chad, that's all I got, so. Uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I guess I should say what we're playing tonight on deck. We got a game, uh, we got a game called uh, Hollywood Squares. We played it here once. Yeah, unfortunately, it's behind a bit of a paywall. So it's the only, like, free slot I had, technically. Uh, so it's, it's, two, it's uh, what, 25,000 biddies to get the band banana. Look, times are tough, okay? Times are tough. <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is. It's the like only slot I had available. But we can, we can move things around. Anyway, tonight we're playing Hollywood Squares. It's the Kathy Griffin edition. It's the episode with Kathy Griffin. We had uh, Raymond's brother, uh, uh, Charles or whatever. I can't remember what the hell his name was. Was it Charles? Anyway, we had him last episode. So this episode is Kathy Griffin. So we got a wheel spin. So sit, Brad Garrett. That's who it was. Brad Garrett. There you go, Brad Garrett. So <laughs> thanks, guys. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, grab a beverage. Let's jump right into this bitch, but first, we got a wheel spin, so regular guy, come on down! You're the next contestant of Fuzz's Chance Time! Welcome everybody to Fuzz's Chance Time! It's your one-stop shop to win fabulous prizes! For every sub, resub, gifted sub, or 10,000 Fuzz coins, you too can press your luck and spin the wheel! Such prizes include VIP, Jelly Bean Redeems, and much, much more! Let's see what he wins, Bob! Oh yeah, the sound effect, that's a, that's a hot item! That's a hot item! Alright, here we go! Around and around, the wheel goes, my friends. Oh my god, Ragni! Get to the sub, get to the sub, part of wax. All right, you, you're next, buddy, you're next. Oh, just like that. A hot bean redeemed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for a boy, regular guy, congratulations. Woo! All right, Aragni, you are like a gifting machine, dude. Totally not necessary, but super appreciated. I hope Turtle Wax enjoys his Grimace emote. I know that he's mentioned it a few times. He does like that one, but your generosity is unmatched, my friend. Thank you so much. So, Aragni, come on down. You're the next contestant on Fuzz's Chance Time. All right, here we go. Aragni, this one's for you, buddy. Around and around the wheel goes, my friend. Where it stops, only Fuzz knows. Yo, Cowboy Scott, how's it going, my friend? Great seeing you, dude. Hope you're having a fantastic night. Yo, Dennis coming in hot. Oh, oh, look at that. He wins a custom sound effect, but he already has one. He already has one, chat, but he hasn't even told me what he wants. But congratulations. Ooh, ooh, that's going to make some people jealous. Yo, Dennis coming in hot with the biddies. Thank you so much, my friend. 
Thank you, I appreciate it. Give it to regular guy. All right, you got it. Regular guy, you might not have won it legitimately, but here you are. You got the pity, you got the pity sound effect. So there you go. Congratulations, regular guy. Congratulations, Aragni. Everybody's a winner here at the Fuzz Factory. So thank you guys for playing a Puzzle Chance Life. I'll see you again next time. All right, here we go. Yo, great seeing you guys. Thank you guys so much, man. You got a hype train level one just like that. Boom. Just like starting the stream, right? Thank you guys so much. Yo, take your time, my friend, because Aragni, if, Aragni, if you don't give me a sound effect, I'm just going to make one for you. I'm just going to make one for you. So far, Gat's the only person, I think, that has, like, redeemed one. I think he's the only one that told me what he wanted. Eventually, we're going to start doing random ones. You might not like it. You might. But more farts? Oh, we could do more farts. You give me some fart sound effects, I'll make them a clip, and I'll put them in the exclamation fart chat, because they're, they're random now. There's, like, four or five farts in there. So. Pretty big doings here at the Fuzz Factory. Everyone loves a good fart chat. It's the universal comedy. All right, but here we go, chat. Playing some Hollywood Squares. So sit back, relax, grab a beverage. So the Babagoos currently are sitting at 46,000. Yeah, I know, Gat told me the same day, and I had it ready for you the same day. I'm quick. I'm quick. I'm glad you enjoy it. In fact, you know, you, you, you can do it now too, man. So Gat, Gat here is a, a fellow streamer. Just made affiliate like what? Like a couple weeks ago? So congratulations to you, my friend. Everyone go give my boy Gat a follow. There we go. Give you guys a shout out. There you go. This one's free, but the next one, it's on you. There you go. Oh, look at this. What's he doing? What's he playing right now? Atlanta. Some UFC? Kick some ass? Tonight against Wei Li Shang. All right, there you go, boom. Oh, there he is, nice kick landed there, Mike. There you go, all right, let's play some Hollywood Squares, chat. Here we go. All right, there it is, so it's the Kathy Griffin episode. So, I don't know if you guys remember where we left off. I don't remember if the game's even that good. But anyway, so this week's center square is Kathy Griffin, self-reclaimed D-list celebrity. Kathy Griffin is a two-time Grammy-nominated and Emmy Award-winning stand-up comedian, actress, and media personality who had multiple appearances on Hollywood Squares. Now, I don't know about you, Chad, but I'm not a big Kathy Griffin fan. But if you like her, you know, hats off to you. More power to the people. All right, let's play against this guy. Who's our opponent? All right, so our opponent this week is Lee. Lee is a complete jock who spends all day in the gym trying to impress the ladies. All right, we can relate with Lee. It's not working out. It's not working out so great, though, so he hopes winning money will give him an edge. He's also cousins to Peter Graham. <laughs> yeah, so, so Lee is really just a Chad. Lee is really just a Chad. <laughs> all right, let's play some Hollywood Squares check. Can you hear it? Do we have sound? How's the sound? Does it sound okay? So one thing I have to do now, chat, is I have to put my headphones down here because if I wear my headphones, I can't hear myself talk, which means I'm screaming. And I don't want to scream to you people. I, I, I know, I, I just feel like I have a really hard time controlling the volume levels of my voice. So at least with this way, I can hear myself and at least control the volume. So here we go, chat, we're playing. He's a Chad wannabe, he is. Let's see, let's see if he's gonna pull out all the stops here though. Total Chad, total Chad. Man, my computer is, can you guys hear the fan? Hopefully not, it is blowing something fierce right now. To Hollywood Square. Oh, you it's subbed? Did you actually sub? You gave me bitties, I don't see a sub, but I appreciate it, Dennis, I really do. We gotta get lunch soon, dude. What day you wanna do it, let me know. You'll pick a square. I'll I'm available. Pick a you just give me the day. Give me the day. The square will answer the question. But I appreciate you. Then either agree or disagree with their answer. If you guess correctly. All right, so we got David, Kurt, Jane, Donna, Kathy Griffin, Block A, Melissa, James, and Sharon. Be careful. You win the round if you manage to line up three squares in a line. All right, so guys, how do you guys want to go about doing this here? Hump day, you gotta do it on Wednesdays. I mean, I'm around, man. I'm around. I think I have a meeting sometime. Five squares. Uh, but you know, I should be fine. I should be fine. Winning square yourself. Well, have my people call call or your people call my people, as they say. <laughs> you have my digits, Dennis. You have my digits. It's crazy that I met somebody that not only lives in my city, 
Alex, but like five minutes away from me. I find that absolutely crazy. What are the chances that we met? What are the chances? All right, chat, give me a square. Where do you guys want to go? Do we get Kathy Griffin right out of the gate? Gate. What do we do? How's that shot of uh, a scotch treating you? You want to start with Kathy? All right, let's see what she has to say, chat. Let's see if she's annoying. Kathy Griffin. Like most parents, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger gives bed. his kids a count of three to get them under control, and he says they know he means business when he does it. How? In the right order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kathy. Um, God, I'm guessing, but I'm going to say the kids are maybe scared when he does it in German. How do you feel about that? Okay, do we agree or disagree in German? I'm going to say I'm going to disagree, man, just because, like, he's just... You're wrong. The board it was in German. Circle. It was in German, chat. God damn it. I unfortunately have to use the headphones because I can't hear. Shit. Square, X. Okay, well, we have to block now with Kurt. Ah, oh, shit. Kurt for the block. What famous actor married one of the stars of the television show Friends in 2000? Let's have your selection. Of Brad Pitt married Jennifer Aniston. I do agree with this, Chad. I agree. That would be Brad Pitt. Germans are scary, man. Germans are scary. Circle, pick your square. Okay, we blocked. Donna. We blocked her. She's going for Donna now. Oh, oh, so it begins, Chad. X, it's your turn to choose a square. So it begins. Our first Pokemon of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Catch Butterfree. Are we X? Uh, I mean, it would be foolish not to go with this one, right? David. We're going with David. What is the art of folding paper into shapes such as flowers and animals called? Would that be origami? Architecture? I disagree. That's called origami. Origami chat. So yeah, anyone that's not totally familiar, I upped the uh, the catch time, so hopefully more people can get in on it. Okay, for the steep, for the block, chat, for the block. All right, who's gonna get it? So uh, Scramby didn't get it, or right, he's gonna get it. Nope. Who's gonna be the third throw? All right, Dennis is going for it. This could be one of his like first Pokemon. I don't remember what he has. Come on. Congratulations, Dennis! Let's get some GGs in chat for my boy. There you go. Enjoy your Butterfree, my friend. Enjoy. Great Pokemon! Woo! You have water ones? Well, now you have a, a bug flying type, I think, is what cat, uh, Butterfree is. So there you go. All right, let's see what Melissa's got for us. For the win. What is the formal name for climate studies? Do you agree or do you disagree? Junk science? I have to disagree with this. Climatology. I had to disagree with that one. The square. Did we win? The round and a thousand. We won the round, shit. Down. There we go. Lee had no chance. Lee had no chance. Get ready for our second round. Next. Second round, baby. All right, guys, give me a square. Where do we want to start? You want to get strategic? We could do like a corner maybe, although is corner a good place to start? You wanna go block A? All right, let's go block A. Blake. What is the name of Spider-Man's alter ego? Let's have your selection. Of I will agree, it's Peter Parker. I think that's Spider-Man. I've seen, I've seen the movie before. Peter Parker. All right, we got some easy questions today. This is nice. Right you are. They get progressively harder as the week goes on. Kurt. Oh, so Ooh, there we go. Okay. Turn now. Okay, if we okay, hear me out, Chad. If we go Kathy, yeah, Balake. Where where's Balake today? All right, so if we go Kathy Griffin, that's gonna put us in a really good spot because we could win in two places right off the get go. So I think we gotta go Kathy, right? Let's see what she has to say, Chad. Kathy Griffin. Kathy, what is unusual about Jessica Simpson's new fragrance? <laughs> it's forty percent tuna. 
<laughs> oh, it's chicken of the sea. And I adore her, and her new fragrance is all natural, no chemicals, all animal friendly, that whole thing. Let's have your selection, agree or disagree. Ah, uh, she said she knows her, chat. She said she knows her. I think I'm gonna agree. No. It's edible, you stupid bitch, Kathy. James. <laughs> totally ruined my strategy. Yo, Mass Ranger, how's it going, buddy? Great seeing you, dude. Which Welcome on into the Fuzz Factory. Okay, uh, do you guys want to go Sharon? She looks like a hippie. She did say 40% tuna. I know, I should have read between the lines, chat. She was giving us a hint. She was giving us a hint. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope everyone had a good weekend, actually. Um, all right, do we go Sharon? Do we want to go Sharon? All right, let's just do it. Sharon. In the rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, where was Humpty Dumpty sitting? I believe it was a wall chat. No, I believe it was on a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. On a wall. It's on a wall chat. Big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. Your turn, circle. Where with Melissa for the block. Can't block us forever. But... You lose. Oh! Everywhere. Does that mean we win? It's his turn now. Oh, no. Okay, chat, you guys want to go Jane? Or Melissa. I'm leaving it to chat to decide now. You guys are in the captain's seat. You're in the driver's seat. Jane or Melissa? Who do you think is going to have the easy question? Dog the bounty hunter or Melissa? You want to go Jane? All right. Jane for the win. Cuba is less than 100 miles away from what U.S. state? Will you agree or disagree? I agree with this, chat. I've actually seen Cuba from the West before. That's Florida. Which is in Florida, chat. Also, the gay capital. What a great place. Has anyone ever been to Key West before? An amazing place to go. I went when I was younger. I went when I was younger. But, and I gotta say, when I was younger, seeing, like, a couple cowboys make out was an experience. But, man, it was fun. Great food, too. I had a really, I went to this crab shack. Ooh. All right, chat. You'll either agree or disagree with their answer. You have a limited amount of time to go through all the... We're in the bonus round now. If you look over there, you'll see... Oh! Key. Who's going to pick the key for us, Chad? Who's going to pick the winning key? This chest. Only one of the keys is able to unlock the chest. Each time you correctly agree or disagree with the star, we'll remove one of the wrong keys. After you've gone through all the stars, you'll have to pick the key you believe will open the chest. Years before his son Jaden was born, who rapped the... Parents just don't understand. The Will Smith? Do you agree or do you disagree? I disagree. Right, you Wait, Will Smith. In what country was Heath Ledger born? England. How do you want to weigh in on this? Was he Australian? Oh my god, was he Australian? Oops. God damn it, he's Australian. Damn it. I knew it was one of those countries. Parents have on the Brady Bunch. Give us your verdict. Uh, three boys, three girls? I agree. Right, you are. Rihanna's video for her single Umbrella features who? Oh god, I don't know. Jay-Z? Or disagree. Oh man, if we're standing under Umbrella's chat, who is in it? Was it Jay-Z? Oh man, I, she's like got sparks flying around. Is it Jay? I'm gonna disagree. You lose. Damn it! Square. What does that cat Agree? Ah, Rachel! Let's have your A butterfly, I agree, Kathy. Well done. Have a nice day is the tagline for what film? Are they bluffing? The island? Agree. I disagree. Nice work. I don't know that one. Chocolate is made from what type of bean? Cocoa. What do you say? The black Agreed. bean? I disagree. Got it. On what holiday do people sometimes give conversation hearts? Va Valentine's Day? Agreed. I disagree. Well done. These are really great questions. <laughs> On what continent does Ted find Curious George in the 2006 movie Curious George? Do I you agree or disagree? You God damn it! I thought it was a trick question. Let's get on. Okay, okay chat, we only got three wrongs. So we got to pick six keys. Also, welcome on in, Rachel. Great seeing you. I hope you're having a fantastic night, my friend. It's amazing. Let's All right, chat. Six keys. Give me six. Give me the keys we're picking. Which one are we picking? All right. Now select a key. We have three keys to pick from. Which one opens the chest? Is it top, right, or bottom? That's a very confusing answer, Aragni. <laughs> very confusing. Top, right, or bottom? Bottom? Oh my god, 
I guess I have to fight it out. All right, no. All right. You think it's bottom, huh? All right. Let's see if you pick the correct key. Yes, you've got. All right, you beautiful man. Well done. You're so handsome. Let's go, dude. We win the Baba Goose. Hollywood Square. Twenty-two thousand Smackaroos, chat. Look at that, and a new wardrobe item. We are going to be Hollywood Squares in, in style. GG. Oh, you love to see it, chat. You love to see it. All right, who's our new our new opponent, chat? Don't get too excited. Lee was a total pushover. Is that VIP, wink, wink? I don't know. Play your cards right, Aragony. Who knows? All right, so Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, come on down. We have Grace. Grace thinks she's the the world is her oyster and regrets never having spent a single night in Bangkok. She's here to correct that and get enough money for the trip. All right. Trying to win Highland. All right, here we go. Let's play. Let's play. So you guys have any um, suggestions what we should play on Wednesday? I don't even know what we should play on Wednesday. Or Friday, even. Welcome to I've been so horrible at putting the schedule in the Discord lately. I just keep forgetting. Kathy Griffin. These are today's players. The rules are simple. Jeopardy for Wednesday. Which Jeopardy would you want to do? We could do the Wii one. We could do PS2. We could do... We'll answer the question. Like we could go crazy. Agree or disagree with their answer. If you guess correct, gotta make sure that like you and regular guys show up though. Give me those answers, cause I'm I'm a big dumb when it comes to Jeopardy chat. So be careful. I need all the help I can get. Manage to line up three. Whichever gives us the most time. Actually, I've never played the Wii one. I don't know. The PS2 one is pretty generous, but. Or diagonally. You can also win if you get any five squares on the board. You must get the winning square yourself. But I like you cannot. Yo, win. Z, how's it going? This is wrong. Whichever can. Yo, Retro, how's it going, my friend? Yeah, you're not banned anymore. You're not timed out, I should say. You've never been banned. But welcome on in, guys. Great seeing you guys. Welcome to the Fuzz Factory. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I was watching your stream this morning, Retro. That was an interesting. I was kind of lurking around. Uh, that was a really interesting game you were playing. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> Some kind of weird DOS game. All right, chat, give me a square. Block A, David, Jane, Donna, Kathy, James, Sharon, Kurt, or Melissa. What are you guys feeling? Who is going to lead us to victory? We have to beat Grace tonight. Oh, Donna, oh, Donna, all right. This is Hollywood Squares. Uh, so back in, yeah, Block A has been good. We'll do Block A next. Uh, so back in, I don't even know if this show's still running, but uh, basically it's like tic-tac-toe essentially. And each square on the show anyway is filled with like C-list celebrities. And they ask a question and then they, they have to agree or disagree with them. So you'll see here. Let's see what Donna has to say. The samurai market is located where? You would think it's Japan, Chet. You would think it's Japan. Is it though? Is it? Martin Mull is more of a C list or I'm gonna agree. In Japan. I, I just took I took a, a risk. I took a risk. Where do you want to go, Circle? Don't go block A. Right. Got it. Okay, they got it. Okay. Select a square. Alright, Rachel wants block A. Rachel gets what Rachel wants. Blake. He's the nerdy kid with the glasses and big nose. He's also one of the few Simpsons characters with eyebrows. Is that Milhouse? Do you agree or disagree with the answer? Uh, I'm going to disagree. It's because Ralph is, doesn't have glasses, I'm pretty sure. Milhouse. Milhouse. All right. My, my Simpsons knowledge came in, came in handy there. Turn to choose a square. Sharon for the block. Oh, she's blocking us. Grace, you dirty dog. Yes, indeed. Okay, now we're on the the uh the defensive here. We have to block with Melissa. 
If she goes Jane, though, she pretty much guarantees a win. So we're in we're in bad, bad place right now. For the block. Kate Hudson is the daughter of what famous actress? Goldie Hawn. Agree or disagree? Disagree. She's the daughter of Goldie Hawn. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Indeed. For the block chat. What square do you want, Circle? Kathy Griffin for the block. We have to go Jane next. Oh, shit. No, we can't go Jane next. Where are you going to go? We have to go David at block, but she can go Jane and win. We're in, we're, we're screwed, chat. We are screwed. We have broken the first rule of tic-tac-toe. We got got. We got got. Shit. There's like nothing we could do. I mean, okay. Okay. This is strategy, chat. We're going to assume that she gets David wrong. We're going to go. We're going to go with Jane. We're going to go with Dog the Bounty Hunter here. And. Hopefully she gets David wrong. Jane for the block. Which actor is also the father of Angelina Jolie? Let's have your selection. Cary Grant? I don't think it's Cary Grant. Is it? It's that other guy. That would be John Voight. Yeah, John Voight. That's who I thought it was. Yeah, there it is. John Voight. Yeah, that's what I thought. Circle. This is huge, Chet. This is huge. Get David wrong. Get David wrong. Circle. Shit! Square wins the round. Damn, we lost the round, Chet. We lost the round just like that. Be sure not to lose another. Going into round. Round two, though. It's fine. There's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Are you gonna play X? Okay, Chet. Give me a square. Yo, hot lettuce. How's it going, my friend? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend, dude. What do you get up to this? Uh... What? What am I trying to say? <laughs> what did you get up to this weekend? Uh, okay. You want to go Kathy? Just okay. Let's go in the middle. Let's see what she's got for us. Let's see what she's got for us. Kathy, when a Harris poll asked people if they'd like to be famous, what did most of them say? I'm sure they said, no, I like driving my Toyota Tercel just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh... I think everybody wants to be famous, but I think they lie about it, so I'm going to say that they said no. What's your choice? You know what? I would agree. I would agree. Most people probably couldn't handle it. Nice work. Sir. Kathy, you beautiful. Ooh, they said Kathy Griffin was beautiful. Yeah, I love you though, Kathy. No, I don't actually. I'm lying. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you semester just ended. Nice, dude. What, uh, are you in uh, college or something? Or are you like in... You have semesters in high school, right? All right. All right. I don't want to get screwed again, chat. I don't want to get screwed. So where do we go to try and like really maximize our odds here? Going in the middle is is uh dangerous. Jane or Melissa? Okay, Jane's been pretty good to us. We'll go Jane. What are you taking in college if you don't mind my ask? Is that too personal? Do you ask that? Is that like asking somebody's age? Is that rude? Jane. I'm so out of the loop, chat. The only product carried in the original Gap store. It's gotta be jeans, right? Green. It's gotta be jeans. I'm gonna say it's jeans. I'm gonna disagree, it's not socks. Jeans. Oh! You took naps in college? Square. Dude, some classes I took, like calculus, man. Man, I was a sleeper. Business major, nice. That'll be exciting. Wrong choice. Oh my god, we could win this if we get Sharon. All right, we're going to try and go with Sharon for the win. Yo, calculus was what tough for me. I'm not a math guy. Which Beatle is better known by his middle name than his first name? Do you think that's a bluff? A I'm going to disagree. It's Paul McCartney. It's probably Ringo, right? Paul McCartney. What? Paul McCartney? What? You're wrong. What? The boy God damn it. Circle. Melissa. Ring I thought it was Ringo too. It's Paul McCartney. Secret Square. Oh, Secret Square. You'll win a bonus one thousand dollars. You lose that. Wait, you have to do calculus in business? X. Really? See, I had to do engineering, so I had to do calculus. But like business, that seems okay. We could win. We could win. Hey, Block A, come on, Block A. Blake for the win. What is the Earth's nearest celestial neighbor in space? Are they bluffing, or do you agree? I disagree hard, like 100%. The moon. 
You're a business admin and had to take two classes of it? I just don't get it. So I had to do I so I had to do calculus and statistics, which was like so weird. Let's start the third and final round. Your turn, X. Where are you gonna go? All right, chat, here we go. It's tied. One, one. One, one. Here we go. Give me a square. What do you guys want? Block A, David, Jane, Donna, Kathy, James, Sharon, Kurt, or Melissa. It's like if Santa had like drug addict reindeers, that would be them. That'd be them. I think we should go like, oh man, like Kurt needs love. All right, you know what? Kurt, is Kurt a guy or a girl? What fairy tale is the 2004 movie Ella Enchanted based on? Okay, Allie loves this movie. It's not Puss in Boots. It's based on. It's Cinderella. Yeah, okay, Cinderella. Here we go. Thank God it gave us Puss in Boots. Circle. Select a square now. Donna. Am I wrong though? Am I wrong? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I can't catch Gyarados. I already have Gyarados. Someone enjoy Gyarados chat. This is huge. This is one of the greatest Pokemon of all time to catch. This thing has not let me down in Pokemon battles. This is a real heart pumper right now. You guys are gonna like it. Whoever gets it's gonna be real lucky. I'm pretty sure I can't catch. Can I catch two Gyarados? Could you imagine? No, I can't. That's a bummer. All right, Aragni's going for it. Immediately pops out. All right, didn't even shake. All right, who's going for it now? Johnny Cage is going for it. This could be big. One spin. Oh! All right, here we go. Number three. Who's going for three? Gat's going for number three. Oh! Nobody catches the Gyarados. Better luck next time, friends. Better luck next time. All right, chat. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. All right, we're, oh my God, we got another one. Ooh, I gotta catch the Electabuzz. One of my favorite electric Pokemon. All right, I'm in, I'm in. All right, what a cool Sprite Electabuzz is. Like I know that Aragni's favorite Pokemon is Magmar, but like seriously, Electabuzz is awesome. Look how great he looks. He looks fantastic. Yo. I, I even like Jinx. Like those three, the trio Pokemon there. You, you can't, you, I don't know if it's nostalgia or what, but they speak to me. But Magmar and Electabuzz, they just, they just hit different. All right, Hot Lettuce is going for the first throw. Uno. Dos. Trez. Oh! Pops out. All right, here we go. All right, Aragni's going for it now. Uno. Dos. Troll! All right, it's gonna be number three. All right, yours truly. Come on, baby. Uno. Dose. Trash. God. Damn. Oh man, the Pokemon have not been good to us tonight. All right. Well, shoot. Better luck next time, Chad. Better luck next time. Oh, what a nail biter! I really would have loved to add that to my collection. All right. Where do you guys want to go? Blocky, David, Jane, Kathy, James, Sharon, or Melissa? What are we feeling? We don't. We haven't done James yet. I feel like is that a bad. You want to go Melissa or where's Melissa at? All right, okay, okay. We can go Melissa. Let's go Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Let's see. Former American Idol Fantasia Barino. Shit, I don't know anything about this. With what song in 2007? Do you agree or disagree with the answer? I disagree. When I see you. That was a total fluke. Rachel, thank God you're here. Right choice. We made the right choice. Are you a fan of, of, of what was it, American Idol? Uh, did you ever watch? You, who is that person? I only know of, of. It's your turn to choose a square. Who the hell was it? Clay Aiken? Wait, Clay Aiken? And, 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 and who, who was the other one? Kelly? Ruben? It was Kelly, yeah. For, there was a movie about them. I think it was Kelly. Kelly Clarkson. That's who it was. Kelly Clarkson. You were 10? Damn, I'm old. I was 17. That means I'm seven years older than you. That's insane. 
All right, we have to block. We have to block. Block A, come on. For the block. Yeah, 40, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Ashton Kutcher returned for the last episode of what series, which they had previously left. Okay, that 70s show. Or disagree. Oh God, if it's 7th Heaven, I don't think it is though. I'm gonna disagree, chat. That 70s show. Yes, indeed. No, no, it wasn't. No, it was, it was from Justin to Kelly. That's what the stupid movie was. Sorry. X, it's your turn to choose a square. Okay, where are we? Where can we win? Where can we do the most damage? Uh, I think we have to just go Kathy and block and really screw her over. I think we have to do this, chat. Kathy Griffin for the win. Oh, for the win. I didn't even realize we had the win there. What American city got its name from the Native American word that meant onion and skunk. Believe it or not, I know this. It's Newark. <laughs> it is. It's Newark, New Jersey. No, it's not. There is no way that Newark, New Jersey means onion and skunk. I'm disagreeing. I know it's not Milwaukee because that's Algonquin for this good land. X gets the it's Chicago. Of course it's Chicago. The Blackhawks suck. Is the second so there you go, chat. We learned something. Chicago means stinky onion and skunk. There you go. Let's start. Ooh, bonus round, baby. In the bonus round. We'll wow, we won. Celebrity in quest. Wow. We'll go through all nine celebrities in order. Why would Ka that's bull? Kathy lied right to her face. She's like, it is. It is. I guarantee you, it is. Disagree with their answer. Lying sack of shit. An amount of time to go through all the celebrities. They made you cry last night. What was the final score? Nine keys. The grand man, I feel like I haven't watched sports in so long. Chest. Oh my! I, I haven't even watched like hockey. Lock the chest. I just like keep forgetting to put it on. I'm like, you call? Like, I can't be a Canadian. 45 30? That's like a total blowout. After you've gone through all the stars, Who are they playing? I have to pick the key you believe will open the chest. What actor okay, here we go. starred in Rocky? So that's Stallone. What's your choice? Agree. That's the right choice. Here we go, chat. In Shrek 2. Which character is made into a giant version of himself? Gingerbread Man. Help Shrek. Agree or disagree? You're correct. Nice. We're on a roll right now. TV reality show is called I Want a Famous What? Do you agree or disagree on... God damn it! I never heard that one before. They play Green Bay? Section of Italy kicking. What's your choice? Yes. So no, shit! <laughs> what is the name of the king? In the movie Madagascar. I don't know. Let's have your selection. King Julian or disagree. Guys, who who who's a fan of Madagascar? I I don't even remember that movie. Yes. Yes. You got nice one, good one, Rachel. What is the largest living bird in the world? It's gotta be the ostrich. How do you feel about that answer? Yes, you got it right. What type of toy is Winnie the Pooh? Teddy bear. Give us your verdict. Right, you are. What Saturday Night Live stars played Wayne and Garth? What do you think? Uh, Tana Carvey and... Nope, disagree. Yes, you got it right. I almost said yes there, chat. Madagascar. On which continent... <laughs> what the hell? ...animals find themselves? Let me guess. Ma Madagascar, chat. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Let's get on over to the keys. What a stupid question. <laughs> what a dumb question. Seven good answers. So seven keys come off. Okay, chat, left or right? Left or right? Which one is going to win us the big bucks? Big bucks! No whammies! All right, you want to go left? Ragni wants to go left. Do you guys agree with the Ragni? What do you guys think? Left or right? There is no middle, Ranger. There's no middle. <laughs> Oh, the middle is in like the middle that's left. I see what you're saying there. Okay. That's two lefts then. All right. We're going to go left, chat. We're going to go left. Now, Ragni was right in round one. Let's see if the streak continues. Let's see if you pick the correct key. Let's see. No, sorry. That's not the correct key. You suck, Ragni. You suck. $500 for each good answer in the bonus round. This adds up to $3,500. Well, you know what? We'll take it, though. We'll take $3,500. What? Congratulations, Jersey. <laughs> you time on I love that sound effect. That makes me so glad I added that one. All right. Well, you know what? We didn't win, like, the twenty five grand, but we won $3,500. That's, like, that's chicken nuggies, Chad. That's chicken nuggies. All right. 
week number two. Going on Wednesday now. Here we go. Who's our opponent? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob is the definition of lazy. He showers once a week and lives off game show winnings. He sounds a lot like us, chat. He sounds a lot like the Baba Goose. <laughs> he sounds, yeah. Me and me and me and me and uh, and Jacob here, we get along, I think. You shower more often, so I don't know about you guys, chat, but I shower once a day, like every morning when I wake up. I just cannot function without having a shower. Like some people gotta drink coffee. Some people, you know, gotta exercise. I have to shower. It's just, it's just how it is. Twice a day? Yeah, I don't know how people do it, man. Like, that's why I hate camping. Showers are overrated? Do you think, are you a bath person, Lettuce? I'll ask the star in the square question. Because, Reno, the square for a lucky spin, you could win my bathwater chat. You will then either agree before and after work. Damn. Their answer. Getting sweaty at work. Correctly. When I was in construction, I used to do that wrong, because however, I'd get like your rashes. Gets the square, so be careful. You win I'm a let life decide your smell kind of guy. In I respect the hell out of that lettuce. I respect the hell out of it. A column. The let it soak. Yeah, he's the guy. Like he's the one that's like. You know, I'm not going to do the dishes tonight. I'm just going to let them sit in the sink for a week soaking. I get you. I get you. Got to get those tough stains off. Get the winning square yourself. You cannot win if your opponent guesses wrong. Whichever contestant wins two rounds, wins the game, and goes into the bonus round. This is round... But yeah, I don't know how people do it, man. Like, I, I, like that's why, again, I can't go camping. Because I just have to shower. It's important I do that. So here we go, chat. To wake up, there you go. So we got James, Melissa, Jane, David, Kathy, Donna, Block A, Kurt, or Sharon. Where are we starting, chat? Where are we starting? And then when you don't work, you shower every other day. So, okay, here's a question, chat. I know that this is, we're, we're kind of going off track, but when you shower, do you guys wash your hair every day? I know it's bad for you, but how many of y'all wash your hair every day? Johnny, this doesn't apply to you. Okay, where are we starting? Every morning you wash your hair, every other day, yeah, right? And so you still wash your head, you gotta wash this to keep it so shiny. All right, let's let's go let's go Jane. Let's go dog the bounty hunter. Jane. Once in like two weeks you wash your hair? You must have like luxurious mane. Dente mean in regards to pasta. To the tooth chat. Or do you disagree? I agree. Or to the teeth. Bone apple teeth, Chad El Dante. Indeed. Circle, select a square now. Donna. Conditioner twice a month? What? Yes. You should be conditioning every day and shampooing like every like, other day. Shampoo is what kills your hair. It like takes all the oils out, chat. You guys are, 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 you're washing your hair all wrong. My girlfriend would roll in her grave right now, though she's not dead. But if she was, she would roll in her grave. I'm gonna go block A. Blake. Justin Timberlake started his career as a member oh. of which band? Hey, I'm a Backstreet Boys fan. I'm a huge Backstreet Boys fan, but NSYNC is pretty good. NSYNC. You need to be taught how to maintain my hair. I've never had long hair, so this is all new. What, really? Okay, so fun, fun fact, chat, fun fact. I used to have hair like down to my nipples. You lose that square. I'm not even kidding. I used to, like, if I could find my old driver's license, I'll show you in high school. I legit had hair down to my nipples, which is like, like pretty, pretty far. Like that's a lot of hair, man. You grew up on them and Brittany, ah, oh, now my girl, or my girlfriend, my sister loved Backstreet Boys. And so by like assimilation, I had to love them because it's all we could listen to in the car. And now I just like, like if Backstreet Bat comes on, I just like, you got a jam. You got a jam. Down to your nipples or growing out your nipples. Go to your head. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> no, uh, it was. Oh, here we go. We can win for Kathy. Kathy. No, I just had long hair. I was a rocker, Chad. Chad, back in my high school days. Pick her nose. In Catholic Church, the Pope wears a white hat. Who wears a black hat? Mel Gibson? <laughs> yes, it's a controversy. Um... 
Black hats, I think, are just priests. I'm gonna go with priests. How do you want to weigh in on this? Priests don't wear hats, do they? Do we want to agree or disagree? I'm gonna disagree. I've never seen a I've never seen a priest wear a hat. Damn it! Yo, Andy, how's it going, buddy? David, you have hair near your waist. Is that like your hair goes down your waist? You're talking about your like, your, like pubes. <laughs> Where do you want to go, X? But uh, so I don't know if you know this, Z. I've mentioned this before, but I actually have a signed Led Zeppelin one album right over there. You can't see it. You can't. You can't. You can't see it. But yeah, I was. I was a Zepp. I was. I was letting the let out lettuce. I was letting the let out. Yeah, you can't see it because it's behind the Funko Pops. You can't see it because it's behind the Funko Pops. Uh, you know what? Let me put the dog cam on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys. This this is the dog cam here, but I'll show you again. You can't see it because, again, the Funko Pops. But there is a signed Led Zeppelin album. You can kind of see Jimmy Page. You can kind of see, uh, I think that's Robert Plant up top. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. You have a signed copy of uh, Communication Breakdown? Oh, nice! Yo, Scotty! Yo, thank you so much for the dog treat redeem! I don't even know if I have any dog treats, chat. That's the real problem here, but thank you so much. Uh, phrase for open interpretation, your hair is long as fuck. There you go. Yo, I appreciate you, Scotty. Hope you're having a good, uh, good night, my friend. Uh, we'll do the dog treat, uh... I'll, I'll text my girlfriend and see if we even have anything. Hold on one sec, guys. Stream's kind of been going in slow-mo, I apologize, but, uh, just bear with me here. But great seeing you, Scotty. Hope you're doing well, man. I've been, uh, I was watching you play Star Wars the other night, and you were playing Minecraft lately. It's like, who even is this man? Ooh, a polywag while we're waiting, Chad. Here we go. Let's catch a polywag. I don't think I have this one. Here we go. All right, Chad, here we go. Uh, okay, let's go with James. We haven't even seen James tonight, Chad. So James for the win, let's see. James for the win. What is the longest, strongest bone in the body? Uh, the femur? Agree, the femur. We won, Chad. There it is. Boom. If you break your femur, you really hurt yourself. You really hurt yourself. Win a second round and get into the bonus round. Round two is on the way. So Allie, unfortunately, just gave the last treats away. So we might have to go to the frozen fruit road again. Who caught that? Who caught that? Yo, Gat, congratulations. Enjoy your polywag, my friend. There you go. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. And you, but yeah, you might, you might uh, bleed out if you broke it, too. All right, chat. Wait, James, Melissa, Jane, David, Kathy, Donna, Blake, or sorry, Block A, uh, Kurt, or Sharon. Yeah. Well, luckily, though, like, at least you're guaranteed a throw. Some people are putting in their catches and they can't even get. They can't even get in there. So, you know what? I got to go with my girl, Jane. I got to go with Jane. I got to do it. I got to do it. Elton John is known for what signature accessory? Oh, we have a battle chat. Or I agree, it's glasses. We have a battle chat. Oh my, who, when did you catch a Weezing Aragni? Nice All right, it's Aragni versus Gat. Here we go, Abra versus Weezing. All right, Abra just got absolutely destroyed. All right, here comes the Poliwag. Okay, while well, Weezing is putting in work today. Oh, uh, Gat, you might get swept, buddy. It's not looking good for you, dude. Oh, and a Magnemite? Oh, the Jukes. Oh, here we go. Can he... Can he sweep? No contest. Flawless victory. Wow. All right, we got dog treats, chat. We got dog treats. Yo, you got destroyed, Gat. Like, not to be, like, rude, but you got absolutely just disrespected. All right, here we go. Scotty, thank you so much for the dog treat redeem, my friend. Here we go. So, today... Unfortunately, again, we have no treats, so we got strawberries and bananas, the frozen variety by Snowcrest. So here we go. Anyone that's never met the puppies before, this is Benjamin, my German Shepherd. He's a good boy. And then we have Husky, who is also known as Husky. So here we go. So thank you so much, Scotty. Appreciate it. 
All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, Scott's still here. Here's the gold, man. Much love. All right, we got a strawberry and a banana. So Ben actually doesn't like bananas. So here we go. I'll give the banana to Tally because she goes crazy. Ow. All right, here we go. And here's the strawberry, my friend. There you go. Enjoy. Are they going to eat it? All right. Good, everyone's happy? All right, there you go. There you go. Thank you, Scotty, once again, my friend. I really appreciate it. The dogs appreciate it, too. There you go. <clears throat> Who let oh, no, Ali, come back. Come back. We're not done. We have more. We have more. All right, yo, lettuce. A thousand points already. A thousand fuzz coin. All right, here we go. We're coming right back to it. We're going right back to it. Here, let me grab another banana and a little strawberry. Hold on. The, the, the dog cam up and running again. So again, here are the pups. Oh, shit. Yeah, Ben, that's yours. I dropped it. I dropped it. You love dogs so much. Do you have any dogs, Lettuce? All right, well, there you go. There's Ben eating the... There you go. You can watch him eat it from... Is that a good strawberry, buddy? Yeah, she got a banana. There you go. All right, there you go. Lettuce, thank you so much for the dog treat redeem. They really appreciate it, too. There you go. Boom. All right. I might just hang on to these for, for a minute, just in case. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. They might not. There you go. Okay. Thank you. You aren't guaranteed to throw a lure. You are guaranteed to throw a ball. Uh, if you do uh, if you do the, the lure command, you're guaranteed to be in the three that are uh selected so that that is true oh your lab just passed away i'm so sorry to hear that man that is terrible news if you need anything uh we got a lot of dog people in the discord so yeah if you need anything feel free to hop in there and i think you're actually already in there but feel free to talk to us uh great group of people in there and uh we'll get you through it oh oh but see you were guaranteed if Gat wouldn't have caught it, though, you would have been guaranteed in one of the three. So it is what it is. That I can't change. That I can't change. You're not guaranteed. You're not the first throw, but you're guaranteed to be in the three somewhere randomly. I'm going to go. I'm going to go block A. Blake. I'm going to go block A. In what UK city would you find the Abbey Road popularized by the Beatles? Are they bluffing or do you agree? Uh, do I want to go with Jared, Jared's Cross? Is that true? I'm going to disagree. You'd find it in London. Yeah, it's in London. That's what I thought. That's, I, that's what I thought. Church. London. Where are you going to play? Sir? So I wish that we had a little bit of longer time, because I'd love to get your guys' input on this. Because oh, uh, I'm basically playing here on my own. You guys are just kind of along for the ride. Kathy Griffin. I forgot that the timer was so shitty. Kath, in pop history, whose first number one hit was called I Get Around? I Get Around. That's Christina's number one excuse. Oh, that's dirty. It's a low blow. You're dirty. Uh, I Get Around is by the Beach Boys, I believe. I get around, I get around, I get around. I'll agree. X gets the square, wins the round, and a $1,000. thousand bucks, Chet. Boom. And the game, and now you're going to the bonus round. Let's start. Hell yeah. In the bonus round, we'll ask each celebrity a question. Wow, we're in the bonus round already. Holy shit. Dude, she had Jacob had no chance. Dude, Jacob got destroyed. You'll either agree or disagree with Wow. That. You have a limited amount of time to go through all the celebrities' answers. If you look over there, you'll see nine keys. The grand prize is hidden inside this chest. Okay, let's see. Let's hopefully we do well here. I'd like to win some more money. The babagoos need to eat, man. Agree or gotta get those chicken nuggies, chat. We'll remove one of the wrong keys. After you've gone through all the stars, you'll have to pick the key you believe will open. I don't remember this key part. Does anyone remember from the show? Theme park in Pennsylvania. Hershey's. Make your choice. Agree? Got it. What was George Lucas's third film? Will you agree or disagree? Too bad. <sighs> what cartoon character's expletives include barnacles and tartar sauce? Do you know the That's answer? That's gotta be SpongeBob, right? 
What type of cards traditionally included gum in the package? What do you say? Agree or disagree? Yes, indeed. Baseball? I've never had gum. Statue of Liberty on. What's your choice? Uh, is it, it's not Liberty Island. You lose. Is it called Liberty Island actually? Shit. John Connery was cast as the first cinematic James Bond. Don't. In what 19th? You only live twice. Do you know the answer? That's not. God damn it. What is the fastest land animal? Cheetah. What's your choice? You're correct. Yo, yeah, we have cranberry uh, dirty and dry here. Father in the Empire Strikes Back. What do you say? A good Boy, what a twist would that have been if Han Solo was his father, though. Trilogies had every one of the movies nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. One is The Godfather. What's the other? Agree or disagree? Sure. Yes. All done. Let's head over to the key. We actually didn't do as bad as I thought we did. You got six. I don't even know. Do, do Americans even have Canadian dry ginger ale? That's a great question, Gat. That These are the questions that we need to be asking our friends south of the border. All right, chat. Top, right, or bottom? Which one has the, the money? Top, right, or bottom? What's going to send us home rich? It's not a thing. It's not a thing, huh? Do you have regular ginger ale? You want to go right? Okay, Ragney, this could be redemption here. Like, ginger ale is not just a Canadian thing, right? Regular ginger ale? Do you have Canadian dry, though? Is that a brand you guys have? You want to go bottom? Oh, man. All right, we need a tiebreaker here. Right or bottom? Who's it going to be? You have cranberry Sprite. Oh, wow. Okay, rub it in, dude. Rub it in. You want to go? Oh, regular guy. Dude, have you been here this whole time? Oh, yeah, you stopped at the beginning. <laughs> Welcome back, man. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, I got two bottoms. All right, here we go with bottom. Let's see if you pick. The I'm sorry, man. I, I'm losing my mind. No. Oh, that's not the correct. Mayor Day. The good okay. We'll give you it's here a lot. For each good answer in the bonus round. This adds up to Do you guys like it a lot though? That's the question. Your total winnings come up to Ah, five grand's not bad. See you next time on We still won though, chat. We still won. It's no problem. It's no problem. We're just not winning the big thing. Again, I don't remember this from being on the show. The the key part. I don't remember this part. But here we go. Week number two going on to that Thursday chat, making great time. All right, Chelsea takes life very slowly. Her special talents include getting up late wow. and procrastination. Wow. 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 Oh, dude. Yeah, you're gonna have to let me. You're gonna have to let me know. Um, does it need to be a certain file type? I don't think so. And if it does, I can convert it. But either way, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm excited for you. Although now I don't know what you're gonna spin your wheel on, man. You got what you wanted. You got what you wanted. You're gonna have to like start like putting new rewards on that wheel so people feel motivated to, to want to spend their fuzz coin. Although I do, I did add a redeem actually, and I took a page out of some other streamers' books here. But yeah, there's permanent VIP for 100k that includes an additional sound effect. So not only do you get VIP forever, but you get a sound effect as well on top of it. Let's that could be, I don't know yet. I haven't really thought of anything like rule wise, but pick a square. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? It's gotta be good for hundred K. The star in the square. The only reason why I did that was because I had eight yeah, re channel point redeems and I hated the way it looked having that blank space. So I just like randomly just put it in there. So yeah, I did copy. I copied Johnny. I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say it right now. I copied you. <laughs> Three squares in a line, a column. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Or diagonally. You can also win if you get any five. But my idea, I know. It's okay. You can ban me from your chat. I get it, man. You could be like that one guy about the smash tourneys. You cannot win if your opponent. I get it. Wrong. I get it. Whichever contestant. I deserve it. Rounds wins the game and goes into the bonus round. This? But I really couldn't think of anything else. Like, what would people want? Which what would people want for 100K? Like, I don't even know. And like, I don't know, 100K is, that's a lot of points. Like, like what's the average fuzz coin, like, carried that people even have? Because, uh, like, I don't even know. 
Like you guys spent so much money on, or like uh, Buzzcoin on beans. My autograph, dude. Well, if I ever meet you guys in person, I'll sign. I'll sign your your forehead. All right, I'm gonna go with my girl Jane. Jane has been just absolutely lovely tonight for us. What is the deadly substance that can kill Superman? I know this one, Chad. Or disagree. Luther? No, I disagree. Tonight. 69k for a sexy pick? Well, I do already have an OnlyFans, Chad. It's the hottest, spiciest, and seemiest place on the internet. Kurt. No. Where are you gonna play, X? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with Block A. Blake. Originally a VW Beetle, what kind of car was Bumblebee in 2000? He was a Camaro. Transformer. He was a Camaro, chat. Selection of Bumblebee was a Camaro. I remember thinking that Camaro looked so sexy, but now that I'm like older, select the square now. I'm not a big fan of like Chevrolets. That is on a roll tonight. He got another Pokemon. Turn Congratulations, dude. Sharon for the win. Enjoy your zoo bat, my friend. What TV network originally aired according to Jim? Oh boy. Agreed. Was it Fox? I disagree with the answer. According to Yeah, I'll say Fox, sure. ABC. ABC shit! Damn it! I didn't know that. Where do you want to play, Circle? Ah, oh, Reg, you're too slow! Griffin for the block. Come on, don't get it right. No. Nice, nice. okay, good. Okay, we can win this with Kathy. Play, X. It came out we had to go. When he had to, well, oh, I see what you're saying. Kathy Griffin. I know the delay, man. I, I don't know how to like get rid of the, the latency, man. In Grimm's tale, the wicked shit. I don't know anything about this. A rotten apple, a tight corset, and what other deadly thing? I don't know. Hmm. This is olden time stuff. Olden times. I'm gonna say a kiln. You know, like you where you do pottery? No. A deadly no, kiln? Yes. I disagree. X gets the a poison comb. There you go. And Thank God Kathy Griffin picked a terrible answer. It Thank God. Because if she would have said something like like another fruit, for example, I would have been like, I probably agree with that. Select a square. So, X. I was lucky. All right, chat. Should we go with our guy here again and stick with Dog the Bounty Hunter with Jane? She, she's been she's been solid. She's been absolutely solid for us. I, I can't say no. What director developed the famous silhouette of himself, which appeared on his TV show as a Christmas gift for his friends? Make your choice. Agree or disagree. I don't know. Sure. That's Alfred Hitchcock. Wow, that was a total guess. I had no idea. What's this? What does this look like? Which square circle? Donna. That's today's secret square. Oh man, they're just getting lucky with these secret squares. That's bupkis. Oh, they got it wrong though. Thank God. Do you want to play? Block A. Block A. Which villains does Peter Parker face at the end of 2007's Spider-Man 3? How do you feel about that answer? Venom Only because Sandman. Mysterio is not in Spider-Man, and Chameleon, I have no idea who that is. Circle. I wasn't sure if they were going to say Venom or Sandman. For the block. So here we go. All right, we can go for Kathy potentially here. Unfortunately, no. I'm going to do the video question again, Chad. I'm going to do the video question again. Kathy Griffin for the win. We're in a good position right now. Whoa, look at her hair, Chad. Yikes. Court recently ruled that this part of your body can be considered a deadly weapon. What part? I would guess hands. How do you feel about that? Deadly weapons? I would agree. Too bad. Your feet! God Square damn it! Circle. Kathy! James for the oh, we're, we're in a bad spot now. Just like that, chat. we have lost this. Oh, no, we haven't. We're good. All right, we're back in it. We're back in it. James <laughs> for the win. That could have been terrible. What is the birthplace of Russell Crowe? I think he's Australian. Will you agree or disagree? Shit, is he New Zealand? He's Australian, right? He was born in Wellington, New Zealand. Oh! That square. God damn it! Circle, it's your turn to play. Sharon, for the win. 
you lose oh, the square. We're back in it, baby. All right, David or Kurt, chat? David or Kurt? Who is going to win us this round? Who are we feeling? It's your ass is a deadly weapon. You like just sit on somebody, just give them the old, uh, you want to go with Dave? All right, great name, powerful name, chat, powerful name. Although I recently learned that Dave is the male equivalent of Karen. Y'all agree with that? Or the win. I don't agree with that, chat. I don't know how I feel about it. What celebrity is known as J-Lo? I know this one. Agree or disagree? It's Tom Hanks, chat. Jennifer Lopez. You know way too many nice Daves? Do I ask for managers? No. Yo, get this, get this, chat. Whenever I have a problem with something, I'm such a beta that, that if, like, say they order my food, like, they bring my food wrong, I won't even say anything because I'm such a wimp. I'll just be, I don't want to make a scene. So I'm just going to eat it. Even if it's completely not what I ordered. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I, I'm just such a little bitch about it. Through all the celebrities answer. If you look over there, you'll see nine keys. You're the same way. Prize is hidden. That's beta. <laughs> Only one of the keys is able. To yeah, when it comes to that, man, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I hate making a scene. Star will remove one of the wrong keys. Ask yeah, and that's true too. And like, you know, I don't want to embarrass somebody. You believe will open the chest. The magic place of Neverland is home to what famous hero who doesn't want to grow? Peter Pan. Do you know the answer? Got it. Who played? Maybe they know better than me. Batman movie. How do you feel about that answer? Was it Michael Keaton or Val Kilmer was the first one? Right, you are. Nice. No, I'm glad we're on the same page. Cries tears when distressed. How do you feel about that answer? Got it. I was a fluke. In the 2000s, Eric Bana and Edward Norton Hulk. played what superhero? Let's have your selection. Agree or... Yes, indeed. Who is the oldest of the Beatles? How do you want to weigh in on this? Oops. Shit! So good. Dude, eating out is expensive. For me and my girlfriend to eat, famous it's uh, like 50 bucks, like minimum. Let's have your selection. Agree or disagree? Sure. No. Damn it! Is it Vector? Shit. Paris is the capital of which country? Agree or disagree? Got it. That was an easy one. What is the name of the fictional TV show on TV's 30 Rock? Make your choice. Agree or disagree? I don't remember 30 Rock, Chet. Oh, it's Wheaties. That's right. Oh. I don't know that show. I know of the show. I don't remember the show, though. The reality TV show. Oh, Project I love Project Runway, Chat. I love Pro. Disagree. Technically, they're designers. Technically, they're designers. Well done. Technically, they're fashion designers. Let's head over to the keys. Well, welcome in, Squall. Great seeing you, buddy. Hope you had a good weekend. That's welcome okay. on to the Fuzz Factory. Dude, this game throws me off completely. Like, when I get it right or wrong, I have no idea. All right. Top Select the left. Or bottom. Regular guy wants bottom. What do you guys agree with? Where is it going to be? What key opens the chest for the money? We got to win that money, chat. Which key has the money? Top? All right, we have one top. We have one bottom. What's it going to be? We need a deal. We need a tiebreaker here. I mean, it could be, it could be anywhere, Chad. It could even be in the left one. Oh. We just like blind pick it. Is that what we're gonna do, Chad? We're just gonna blind pick like any mini miny mo. I'm just gonna do one of these. Let's see if you. I blind picked it. Correct. I blind picked it. No, sorry, that's not the correct key. That sucks. Is, we'll give you $500 for each good answer in the bonus round. Oh, we did okay. We did okay. $3,000. Your total winnings come up to... Five grand? See you next time. We've won a good amount of nuggies tonight. So we won $22,000 our first game, $3,500 the next game, and then $5,000 consecutive back-to-backs. So we're sitting at like, like $35,000 right now. All right, here we go. The last day of the week chat for Friday. 
Who are we playing against? Lewis thinks he's all that. Sadly, not many people share his beliefs. So he's coming on the show to make an impression on more than just his mom. That sounds dirty. Can we beat Lewis, chat? I intend to find out. Uh Oh, we get some random facts here. So did anyone ever watch this this movie actually with with uh Mark Wahlberg? But uh the Deepwater Horizon oil spill was an industrial disaster that began on April 20th, 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico on the BP-operated Maconda Prospect. Considered to be one of the largest marine oil spills in the history of the petroleum industry. Leave it to BP to have an oil spill, chat. Leave it to BP. The star Terrible star company when it comes to like regulations and stuff. They just like don't give a shit. Or disagree with their answer. Oddly enough, though, I've actually never audited against BP before. However, British Petroleum. I've never audited against them. So be careful. They don't do many joint ventures. Managed to line up three squares. Your dog tight though. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. But uh, it was actually a pretty crazy movie, and. Uh, a lot of people died like horribly on the uh, on uh, that that uh, oil rig. You must get the winning square. So there was these like not win if you're um basically like sea cans that you went in for like safety and they never like deployed and they basically just got cooked alive. Let's start round one. So it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. To square X. All right, where's my girl Jane at? Where's she at? There she is. Yeah, it's terrible. It was a horrible tragedy. It was really, we should be laughing about it. It's pretty bad. All right. I, gotta, uh, I don't want to go in the middle, though. That's such an awkward place to start. You know what? I'm going to go with my boy James here. James. I'm going with my, my boy James. Who owns the factory in the book Charlie and the Chocolate? That depends. Trick question. Your selection. Is it before or after the contest? I'll agree it's Willy Wonka, though, for right now. Don't by Willy Wonka. But at the end of the movie, it's owned by Charlie Bucket. So that's a trick question. And I don't like trick questions, Chad. I don't like them. Good job. Which square do you want, X? I'm going with Donna. Donna. In which city did the TV show Cheers take place? What do you say? Agree or disagree? Was it New York? I don't think it was New York. In Boston. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Boston. There you go. You in Boston. Yeah, everyone knows your name in Boston, chat. Jane. Get it wrong. Not nice. Right. Okay, this is huge. Going for David. All right, come on, David. Be good to us, buddy. You're a strong, powerful individual. David for the win. The character Thumper is from what Disney? I know this one, chat. It's Bambi. Your selection. From He's a rabbit. He's a rabbit, chat. Good job, David. Gets the square, wins the round, and a thousand dollars. Great. This is the first round you won today. Just one more. One more round to go, chat. And we're going to that mystery, that bonus round. It's gonna be fantastic. Here we go. Round two. Baby game. Yeah, we're doing. This is so much easier than press your luck. Like so much easier. Press your luck is like insanely brutal, and then you get this, and it's like, okay, I, I could live with this. All right, you know what, James? I'm going to start with you again, because we nailed it last time. Paul Bettany, Adrian Brody, Steve Carell, and Robin Williams all wanted to play the Joker in The Dark Knight. Who did play the Joker? Will you agree or disagree? Steve Carell was going to play the Joker? Was that really a thing? Could you imagine Your the Dark Knight and Steve Carell being the Joker? He'd be like, why so serious? <laughs> like, it would be terrible. Got it. Which <laughs> the loud noises. <laughs> Donna. That would be weird. What sculpted character is sitting on a mushroom in Central Park? Yeah, I love Lamp. Along with the March Hare. I love, I love Mouse, ba Batarang. Cat. And Mad Hatter. What do you think? Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. Dorothy? No, disagree. Would be Alice. Yeah, okay, wait, I had to read that question. I had to read that one. You got it right. Circle, select a square now. Kathy Griffin for the block. Stop stealing my girl, man. Get it wrong. You lose nice. All right, we's. we're going for Kathy for the win. Square X. 
Kathy for the win. Kathy Griffin for the win. She looks so much better with straight hair. Of the, uh, of the AA, BA, or the BS, which is the lowest college degree you can get? I thought it was a BA, but that's BS. <laughs> I'm always thinking, Tom. No, I think AA, all right. One. Okay, Squall's got AA. Well, I'm going to agree. Agree. X gets the square, wins the There we go. We're going, baby. Who's going to be the next celebrity, Chet? Good job, Squall. And now you're going to the bonus round. Scott, you better not be working right now. It's getting late, buddy. Hope you're not working. In the bonus round, we'll ask each celebrity a question. We'll go through all nine celebrities in order. As usual, you'll either agree or... Look, all I'm going to say, Squall, is Chad gets a little bit bumpy sometimes, and I got to I gotta agree with the people. The grand Usually, you're right, and it's like one of the, like, you know, voices of the few. I got to listen to the voices of the many. Estelle Getty? You're going to say Martin Mull? Let's see. I have no idea who week three is. It's exciting. You'll have to pick the key you... Exciting, Chad. ...will open the chest. Popeye's strength came from eating what iron rich source? Spinach. Vitamin A. I love spinach, actually, chat. E, vitamin I'd rather eat spinach than lettuce. What do you think? No. Yes. Fergie's Glamorous was the third single off of which 2006. I don't know anything about black eyed peas. Agree or disagree with the answer? Sure. You got it. Well, that was a total guess. Gene Roddenberry created which landmark TV show in 1966? Do you agree or do you disagree? Gene Roddenberry? Did you do Star Trek? Sure. Yes. Agree? All right. Josh Radner and Neil Patrick Harris can be seen in which TV show? What's your choice? You got it. I'm on a roll here, chat. Celebrity started Happy Madison Productions. What do you say? I got it. What if we get them all right? House of the TV show House is oh, man. of what profession? He's a doctor. Good job. All right, we're killing it right now. Garfield was a cat. Yes. What was his friend Odie? A dog. Do you agree or do you Yes, you got it right. What is the name of the old great Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh? I have a Funko Pop. I have a, a Funko Pop of Eeyore. Right. In what land at the Magic Kingdom in Florida was Adventureland. the Pirates of the Caribbean? Let's have your selection. You're correct. Let's go, baby! Right. Ooh, let's go, baby! Oh! Ron, nice play. So, do we automatically win? The only key remaining must be the correct key. Let's go! Dude, I was in the zone! All right, chat. Well, this is pretty obvious when we're picking. Oh my god, Hypno. This is actually legit my favorite psychic Pokemon. I love Hypno. I Please catch it. Please catch it. Let's go over to Come on, please, Dave. You gotta catch this. My favorite psychic Pokemon. Come on. Congratulations. How much do we win? How much do we win? 22 grand, again. Wow, what a round, chat. What a round. We destroyed Lewis. He's crying right now. He's crying. Well done, everybody. Let me catch up with Chad here. So, lettuce, like lettuce over spinach. Fair enough. Scrammy, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, Scrammy. <laughs> okay, Rachel's going for it. I'd prefer if you didn't. No. <laughs> Come on, show me fuzz. I'm ready to fuck off too. Screw, screw it. Pop out, pop out. Nice. Woo. Nice. <laughs> Woo. You win some, you lose some, chat. You win some, you lose some. That's my hypno. It's my hypno, chat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Week three. Center square is Jeffrey Tomber. Oh, Rapidash, wow. Look, regular guy, look. I, you know what? Look, look, okay? It's my hypno. I have to assert my dominance. All right, 
though Jeffrey Tomber, best known for his role in, in uh, Hank Kingsley on The Larry Sanders Show and George Bluth Sr. on Arrested Development, Jeffrey Tomber was the official announcer for Hollywood Squares in 2002 and 2003. He's the guy with the weird lips. He's the guy with the weird lips. He's in, um... He's, uh, in, uh, The Hangover. He's, uh, he's the dad. So here we go. Alright, we're against Leslie, ladies and gentlemen. He feels that Punk's not dead and intends to prove it. With the money she wins, she's gonna open a small club in her hometown. Alright, let's get this Pokemon here. Let's see, alright? Alright, a Ragdy's going for it. Who's the going for the third throw here? Alright, Lettuce. Alright. Let's let us have what it takes to catch a Rapidash. Ooh! Man, these Pokemon have been mean tonight. Absolutely cruel. Absolutely cruel. When was the last time anyone's caught a Pokemon other than Gat? I think he caught a Zubat. That was the last thing we caught. Yikes. Bad luck on the old Poka, Poka throws here. But you know what? Better luck next time, Chad. We'll get him again. We'll get him again. Welcome to Hollywood Square. Allow me to present your. All right, Chad. I have to ask this because we got actually a few people here. What's y'all's favorite Pokemon? We've been trying to catch all these Pokemon now, complete our Pokedexes. But which one is your number one favorite? I'll ask the star in the square a question. The star in the square. This is my go-to question whenever it's like I don't know what to talk about. What's your favorite Pokemon? Everyone has one. Gengar, great choice. I actually, believe it or not, I have an emote of Gengar ready to go, and I just never uploaded it. It's on Twitch, but I never made it a slot. I also have a Snorlax, uh, a sexy Snorlax emote. A column. Electros? Is that the the fish thing that's not even a fish, but it knows it knows levitate as an ability? It's like a lamprey. You must get the winning square yourself. I think it was like a Gen 5 Pokemon. Guesses wrong. Whichever contested wins I'm pretty sure. Wins the game and goes not a huge Pokemon fan? Okay, so you're not a huge Pokemon fan, but you pick like the most obscure Pokemon ever? Something's not adding up, Squall. Something's not adding up. How many of y'all knew what an Electros was? How many of y'all knew? Hmm? Hmm? Bet you nobody. All right, you know what? Let's go with our boy here, Jeffrey. Let's just test the waters here. Let's test the waters. Jeffrey Tambor. Let's see. Let's see what he's got for us. Oh, he's got a beard, Chad. He's looking Jeffrey, good. You want to have sophisticated. Thicker, fuller hair. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, woman's world. And it can learn flamethrower, Chad. Having what for breakfast? Um, it's something that I, I like to eat every day. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that would be, yeah. You know what it is? It's uh, oatmeal. What was the question? Do you want to have a thicker, fuller hair? Women suggest having... I'm going to say it's eggs, Chad. I'm going to say it's eggs. I'm disagreeing. No. It's oatmeal. God damn it. Select a friend and I were playing an online reality show game based on Pokemon. He did all the Poke strategy stuff, and in our final fight, Electros wrecked the last team. So we were the winners of the series. There you go. See? It's an obscure Pokemon. Oh, wow. We have to block. Actually, Ragni, how did your, um, how, how did your uh, Dungeons and Dragons go? Hopefully you didn't have a power outage on Friday. Kathleen. We have to block with Kathleen. Well, fair enough. He's a cool Pokemon. He's probably one of my favorites. What sort of animal? The reptile. What do you uh, that's a trick question. I'm gonna disagree. It's a reptile. Okay, I got it right. Okay, thank God. Uh, well done. I don't remember what I was saying now. your turn to I don't remember what I was gonna say. Nancy. I have small brain, chat. Smooth brain. You're incorrect. X. Pick a square. So. Pokemon Showdown, like, that's an actual, like, battling website where it's, like, you don't actually have to, um, you don't actually have to battle, like, using, like, Game Boy or, like, I guess Switch in this case. You can actually use, uh, like, fake Pokemon, basically, but you, like, pick the stats and the moves and stuff. I, I used to do it. I used to play competitively. All right, well, let's go for Chris for the win. Chris for the win. You can find Disney World in which city? Orlando. Do you agree, Orlando, Florida? We did a GeoGuessr chat of Orlando of Disney World. It was fantastic. The round and a thousand dollars. Great. 
This is the first round you won. We didn't really do D and D, but uh, I did keep them updated as the tornado went through. Oh well, I'm glad you made it safe, and I'm glad that uh, you know no damage was done. Tornadoes are no joke. Where do you want to play, X? All right. So Jeffrey, Jeffrey Tambor, he kind of screwed us. So, uh, where's my boy James at? Oh, James isn't here. We've been robbed, Chet. Uh, you know what? Let's go, Matthew. Let's see what Matthew's all about. Matthew. What is known as the city that never sleeps? So Las Vegas. Agree or disagree? It's Las Vegas. What Sin City? I'm gonna agree. New York. I'm gonna agree. Oof. You got it. I almost screwed that one up. Almost. The board is yours. Almost. Michael. Michelle. That's your square. Select a square, X. I'm gonna go Kathleen. Kathleen. If you want a wish to come true, fold an origami of this animal. Actually, fold a thousand of crane? What animal is it? How do you feel about a that? trout? No. It's a crane. All right, we got that big brain going right now, Chad. We're on a heater right now. I love it. Are you going to play, Circle? Jeffrey. No! Block. Get it wrong, get it wrong. You're right. Okay, this actually puts us in a great spot, though, because if we go here and we snag Nancy, we uh, pretty much guarantee, well, if we get it wrong, we're screwed. But if we get it right, uh, Circle can't win. Nancy for the block. In the Harry Potter series, who owns the wand shop? Give us your verdict. Oh. I don't know. Someone's got to agree. Mr. Ollivander. Wow, that was a total fluke. Work. Total fluke. Where do you want to go, Circle? Chris. So actually, I believe that a new Harry Potter um, on HBO Max uh there is a uh harry potter um like for 10 year reunion a 10 year reunion uh happening on new year's day which is pretty cool so if anyone wants to stream on the discord uh on new year's day because i can't get hbo max in canada because this country's a prison please by all means i'd love to watch that uh two another trailer of like fantastic mr beast came out for like number three so uh, if you are a Harry Potter fan, it is a good time to be alive. Richard, for the win. What song was so popular that when the master recording was damaged, Bing Crosby had to re-record it in 1947? Do you agree or do you disagree? Sure. The song, White Christmas. Shit. You lose that square. We're in trouble. Where do you want to play, Circle? We're in real bad. We, we, we went from like... Win. Zero to sixty, real quick. Circle gets Fuck, we the lost. Damn it. The round and one thousand. Uh, we get warnings for tornado with a shit ton of debris, and my dad and I go outside to see it. I mean, it's hard not to go out. Here comes. Like you, you almost want to like you know see what's going on. Is it like the movie Twister? I don't know. I've never seen a tornado before. All right, well that round sucked. I'm going Kathleen. Kathleen. What show ended with an episode called The Truth, in which Fox Mulder returns to the show and defends himself during a secret trial by proving an alien conspiracy? How do you feel about that answer? I was going to say The X-Files, but... That would be The X-Files. Oh, it was The X-Files, chat! Nice Let's go! Let's go, baby! Pick a square. Matthew! Oh, you were gonna see it? Yeah, welcome to the Midwest. Where do you want to play, X? Uh, let's, Michelle looks hot. Let's give it Michelle a shot. What vegetable is the base ingredient for gazpacho soup? Scott, this is a Scott question. Gazpacho. Gazpacho. Is it tomato? I'm gonna agree. That would be the vegetable and or fruit known as oh, the tomato. Nice. That's your square. You're big on the X-Files? I used to, like, when it was on Netflix, I binged the shit out of it. For the block. It's tomato? All right. Thanks, Scotty. Appreciate you. Nice work. X, it's your turn to choose a square. 
I know you love food. I know you love food. So whenever there's a food question, you're my guy. Which subspecies of tiger is the largest? I don't know, Bengal. How do you want to weigh in on this? I guess. I mean, I didn't even know there was more than like, I knew there was a Siberian. You know what? I'm going to say Siberian's bigger. The Siberian. Holy shit, my brain right now. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. It's your turn to play. Chris for the block. Got it. All right, we got to go with Jeffrey for the win, chat. Now. Jeffrey for the win. Jeffrey Tambor for the win. Be good to me, buddy. King James the Fourth of Scotland. I can't. I'm, I'm, I screwed. Game I'm, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Fourteen fifty-seven. What game? Ring around the guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just silly. Um, because it's a dangerous game. Um, as silly as it sounds, golf. Make your choice: agree or disagree. Did they play golf, chat? Did they play golf? We agree. I'm disagreeing. Unfortunately, God damn it, it's golf. Turn. God. Richard. Ford. I didn't know they played golf. Why? Why? Wrong. The board is yours, X. I can't even win. No one can win. It's a baseball she, circle could win. Potentially. Kevin for the if win. I don't get this right. What 2001 film served as Anne Hathaway's first prominent acting role? Uh, prominent, uh, no, the Princess uh, Diaries or whatever. That would be the Princess Diaries. She was such, Anne Hathaway is such a fox, man. She's such a babe. It's actually insane how good looking Anne Hathaway is. I don't know if anyone agrees with me. Oh, it's five squares to win? Nice. But man, Anne Hathaway. This round, we'll ask each celebrity a question. We'll go through all nine. Agreed? Yeah, she's a smoke show, dude. As usual, you'll either. Like, everyone's like all crazy about Scarlett Johansson and stuff, and I'm like, nah. Time to go Give me the Anne. The Give me the Anne. If you look over there, you'll see. Although, not in the witches. The she's creepy in the witches. I don't like it. Inside this chest. Only one of the keys. I don't like her smile. The chest. Freaks me out. Time you correctly agree or disagree with the star, we'll remove one of the wrong keys. After you've gone through all the stars, you'll have to pick the key you believe will open. Now, can we get a, another sweep? Al Pacino's character in The Godfather. Do you think that's a bluff? Agree or Michael Corleone? That's the right choice. Nice. This award was Akon nominated for in December of 2006. How do you feel about that answer? You're right. He's a musician, so it wouldn't have been an Oscar. What was the Ben and Jerry flavor Cherry Garcia name? Are they bluffing? Or Jerry Garcia? That sounds legit. That sounds legit to me. Cheese That's clever. Usually orange in color. Cheddar. What do you think? Right you are. Michelangelo's sculptures were most often carved out of what bright white or grayish stone? What do you say? A Greek? Yes. You got Marble. It. Who is the author of the Twilight oh, shit. series? Do you agree no. or you? She did that interview with the vampire. Which city was Jerry Springer once mayor of? Chicago. What's your choice? You lose Fuck. that square. New York. It would have been New York, maybe. The shit. Horrible person was Hagar the horrible. What do you say? Uh, agree or disagree? A Viking? No. You don't Damn it! Square. Rip Ann. Which 2007 American Idol's debut single was This Is My Now? How do you want to weigh in on this? Who the hell is Jordan Sparks? Rachel, are you still here? <laughs> Ugly. You got it. I don't know. All right. Okay, we only got we only got two wrong. That's not that bad. Not too, that's actually not that bad. Seven good answers. So seven keys come off. Here we go. All right, chat. All right. Left or right? Select the key. Left or right? Which one has the 22,000 in the case? Left? Right? Man, you guys kill me with this. You guys kill me with this. We need a tiebreaker. Who's going to be the hero? Yeah. Oh, Cincinnati. No way. You know, oddly, you know, vaguely, that sounds familiar. Vaguely. Was he a good mayor? I know you guys are going to have to like battle this out in, in Pokemon here. And the winner of the Pokemon battle picks the key. But I don't know if regular guy has any Pokemon. I don't know if it works that way. All right. 
Who wants to go left? All right, Squall's the tiebreaker. We're going left. Let's see. You pick the correct key. No. Ah, bummer. The regular guy was right. The good By picking right. Give you $500 for each oh, they are battling. It's a real battle, chat. 30. All right, Kabutops versus Ammonite. Battle of the prehistoric fossils. Congratulations. Let's go. All right, Kabutops gets a, a big hit in. All right, Ammonite's not looking too good. Uh-oh. Oh, he's juking. There's jukes everywhere. All right, Kabutops is taking him on. Going on Nidoqueen. Queen. Great Pokemon. Okay, Nidoqueen Queen is putting in work, though. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Can it hang on? Could be a double knockout. Ooh, Kabutops with that last move. And then the Sea King. All right, Kabutops is doing real well here. All right, next Pokemon. Weezing. We've seen Weezing before from our Ragni. This Pokemon is tanky. Oh, oh. It's not looking good for a regular guy. Ooh, and just like that, a Ragni wins. GG, a Ragni. Congratulations. No, we should. The only thing is, like, you don't have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. Like, I have to not only get the, the uh, prediction up and running, I have to type the names in. By then, the battle's probably already started. So, I mean, I would love to do that, but there's just, there's no, uh, there's no, like, buffer window, really. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. But that would be fantastic. I'd love to do that. I'll look into it. I'll look into that. Prediction then fight? Well, you guys gotta let me know when you guys are gonna fight. That's the thing though, I don't know when it's gonna happen. Is that Steve Jobs? It's not. It's Jeffrey, uh, what was his name? Jeffrey Tambor. Jeffrey Tambor. All right, Sean never left the 70s. He lives in his very own disco den in his parents' basement and needs money because he's broke, or he broke his disco ball while striking a pose. Let's stop this guy from winning some money, chat. He's a freeloader and a burden on society and taxpayers' dollar. Idea, a night of just Pokemon catching and a night of Pokemon battling? Welcome oh man, I don't know. I, I, could you really keep that going for two hours though? Like that would just be like insane. Jeffrey. Everybody would lose their mind. <laughs> Congratulations to Ragni. Enjoy your Vulpix, my friend. You'll pick a square. I'll ask the star in the square a question. The star Dude, yeah, Sean's a loser. <laughs> You will then either agree... Dude, I, I want to do another game show night. I, I love doing that. I don't know if it was very popular, but... That's wrong. I, I, could, I could watch game shows for, like, literally, like, ten hours. I love it. You win the right. Hence why the channel is game shows, basically. A line. Yeah, regular guy would be out. He, he, he'd be like, I'm... See ya. <laughs> or diagonally. It, it was pretty good. I like we watched Price is Right. We watched some Family Feud. We watched uh, Newlywed Game. I, I liked it. The winning square yourself. Yo, Johnny, you got to step your Pokemon game up. Guess is wrong. Whichever contestant wins two rounds, wins the game, and goes into the bonus round. This is round one. Where do you want to play, X? All right. Oh, Chris is looking good. You know what? No, I'm going again with Matthew. Ah, uh, Richard. Yeah. Who do you guys want to go with? Kevin, Rhonda, Chris, Nancy, Jeffrey, Michelle, uh, Matthew, Kathleen, or Richard? Do we go with Dick? Do we go with Dick? Oh, here we go. This could be Johnny's big moment. His first Pokemon, the Rock Snake Onyx. This could be huge. Go with Richard. Richard. Which major cosmetics company signed Eva Longoria to an exclusive worldwide contract? Cover Girl? Uh, was it Cover Girl? I don't think it was Cover Girl. That would be L'Oreal. It was hair. I knew it was hair. Good job. Your turn, Circle. Where with Jeffrey Tambor? All right. So Scrampy didn't get the Onyx. Where do you want to play? All 
right, Johnny's going for it. This could be his moment. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Who's going for the third throw? Yours truly. This fuzz catching on next tonight. What a tease what a tease all right you're gonna challenge scramby okay you know what if i do a prediction though chat you can't you can't be mad at me you can't be mad at me because if, if someone picks someone different who will win it's gonna be aragni Although Scramby has Pokemon now, so don't don't sleep on her. Here we go. I'm gonna guys. I'm gonna give you guys. I uh, I don't know five minutes. That's probably enough time, right? Probably enough time. Because I don't know when the next fight will be. You know what? I'll do two minutes just in case. You got two minutes to put a prediction in. Who will win, a Ragni or Scramby? There you go. I don't know what Pokemon they have, but you know, it could be anyone's game. A Ragni has a Weezing that's putting in work. Yeah, it chooses your three best, but it also, um, so if you go against like a low level person, like Scramby's Paris, for example, it's going to give you the lowest level Pokemon that you have to keep it like even. But if you guys just have like, you know, a bunch of Pokemon, it's going to pick your three best. Kevin. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool system. Who wrote White Christmas while sitting by the pool at the Arizona Biltmore Resort and Spa in Phoenix? I have no idea. Irv Irvin Berling? Sure. Irving Berlin. That was lucky. X gets the square, wins the round, and thousand dollars. Oh, why are, you, why are you being all weird audio? Round you won. It takes two to win the game. Dude, his audio sounds like shit. Going into round two. Which square do you want, X? Um, I mean, Richard was good. Richard was good. Let's, let's go. Let's go Richard again. Richard. In the credits of what TV series do the six main characters frolic in a fountain that was actually at the Warner Ranch at 401 North Hollywood. I'm thinking that's going to be Friends, yeah, Chad. Perfect. That would be Friends. I didn't know that, though. That's some. That's a fun little trivia. Actually, speaking of trivia, uh, Aragni, let's call you out. But um, I know you want to do the trivia night, the Christmas trivia night. Have you worked on any questions at all? Because uh, I'm probably going to need to put them in by next weekend or this weekend because I'm going to do the quiz on the 22nd. So, um... If you just want to give me what you got, then I can finish it. Still at 32 if you want them. Yeah, I'll definitely. Yeah, I'll take them for sure. Chris, for the win. Where was the Yves Saint Laurent Corporation founded? Let's have your selection. Agree or disagree. In France. I was going to say France. I did sound like a French freaking thing. That square. And I just, I just, I, I, I oh man, I should have went my gut. Sucks. Sucks to suck, chat. You're correct. Where do you want to go, X? I mean, I only have really like one option here. I could try and block him. Although he could go middle. I have to go middle. A block. Tambor for the block. All right, Jeff. Come on, lay it on me, buddy. In the book of Genesis, what kept Adam and Eve from returning to the Garden of Eden? Well, they forgot to get their hands stamped on the way out. <laughs> um, uh, I, I would imagine, well, original sin. I mean, they, they ate the apple they were told not to. Do you agree? Yeah, or I, I would agree. With the answer. That's not it. Where do you want to go, Circle? Jeff what Tambor. the hell is a cherub? What is that? You lose that square. What? When, what in the Bible even is that? The only thing I know about cherub is the freaking Smashing Pumpkins cherub rock. That's what got them kicked out? It's a Cupid and Angel? I thought God kicked them out. He said, hey. Don't eat my fucking apple. That's mine. I was making some cider with that later. And then. Boom, 
He's like, get out. And then all of a sudden, everything started going to shit. Animals were eating each other. And, you know, the uh, world flooded. <laughs> Something like that, right, Chet? Or the wind. Because God was making a kick ass cider. Do you think that's a block? Agree? It's in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean Sea. God damn it! You're God wrong. damn it! <laughs> Pick a square circle. Rhonda for the win. Circle gets the square, wins the round, and $1,000. Don't worry, this is only the first round. That's the cooldown for the battles? It's 10 minutes. I think. But again, all the timing is, is like, you know, testing. Like, we could go to five minutes. I just didn't want people to, like, spam it again. Because I know when people tell me that they're really annoyed by something, I take that to heart. I don't want people to think my stream's annoying. But more so than it already probably is. <laughs> okay? Chris. In the movie Twilight, who pitches the ball during the vampire's baseball? It's the blonde chick. I don't know who her name is. Jasper? Or disagree. Oh, what, was it Jasper? The creepy looking dude? Alice. It was freaking Alice. I knew it was the chick. God Sorry. damn it. It was freaking Ashley Green. Select a square now. Michelle. Oh, it's when the Muse song plays. Oh. I should have known, Rachel. I'm sorry. I disappointed. I disappointed you. All right, we have to block. Come on, Dick. We got to block. We got to block. What famous actor is also in a band called 30 Seconds to Mars? Uh, that's the Joker. No. Uh, the guy, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Who it was. This stream rocks. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's Leto. There it is. You play, sir? All right, I'm going to go. Tambor. Oh, we have to block. Unless he gets it right. Nope. Okay, hey, hey, hey. going for Kevin for the win. Kevin for the win, chat. Kevin for the win. On Seinfeld. Oh, okay, here we go. What did George think his car once belonged to? How do you want to weigh in? John Voight? That sounds familiar. I can picture George screaming that name. I'm going to agree. John Voight. There it is, boom. I, you know, it's funny, in Johnny's stream, we were talking about George Costanza, about being bald, and how he gets all the hot chicks. That's weird. That's a weird coincidence, Chet. That just happened. That's weird. In the bonus round, we'll ask each celebrity a question. We'll go through all nine celebrities in order. As usual. Am I wrong, though? Am I wrong? It's weird. You have a limit what are the chances of the Seinfeld question about George popped up? Answer. If you look over there, you'll see nine keys. The grand prize is hidden inside this chest. Only that is weird. I know. That's what I'm saying. Each time you correct, it's freaky. <laughs> disagree with the star. It's like a VSPN or something. The wrong key. After you've gone through all the stars, you'll have to pick the key you believe will open the. Okay, we gotta win this here. I want to win some money. Where was the one ring originally created? Oh, here we go. Mount Doom? No. It was forged in. Unfortunately. What the hell? What is guacamole? Avocado. Disagree. Good. All right, here we go. We have a battle going on too. Iceberg. What do you think? All right, who's winning here? Is Scrammy winning? No, Scrammy's losing. Oh man, this is close. This is close. Yes, indeed. Speaking of John Voight, or who won? Aragni? Is that a sweep? Do you think that's a bluff? Agree or disagree? Is he Australian? Sure. You got it. Is that close at all? Did Aragni win? Hold on. That's a horrible time to do a Pokemon battle. Of what awful 1987 Rick Astley song? Make your choice. Agree? Well done. I'm sorry, Scramby. You'll win eventually. Outline as a tadpole. A frog. What do you think? A kangaroo rat. Well done. Who won the MTV Video of the Year Award in 2008 for Piece of Me? Yeah. Uh, Piece of Me? I don't know that song, so I'm going to disagree. God damn it. All, All right, predictions are in, chat. Predictions are in. I'm assuming Aragni won, right? You 
got six. Good answer. Wow, 5K Let's on Aragni. 1.8 on Scramby. Was it Aragni? Just to like All right. Aragni team wheezing one. Yeah, okay, there you go. Congratulations to everyone who voted Aragni. There you go. There you go. There you go. Enjoy your fuzz coin. Don't spend it all in one place. All right, we have three keys. Top, middle, or bottom. 6,800, baby. There you go. 6,800. All right, top, middle, or bottom, chat. Middle. All right, bottom. God damn it, you guys. We need a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker here. Who's going to do it? Top, middle, or bottom. This is to win $22,000, chat. 22000 Don't all just scream it at once. Middle? All right, we're going for two middles. All right, thank you, Retro. Thank you, we're going for middle. Here we go. Let's Do we win, chat? The correct key. No, sorry. That's Porky! That's not the right key. The good news is Better luck next time, Chet. Better luck next time. Oh, shit. I have to do a hot bean redeem, I think. Do I do a hot bean for regular guy? I think I do. I don't think I did a bean. Ooh, an ivy sword, Chet. Nice. All right, so unfortunately, because you have to use an alpha channel, anything that's green looks really messed up. So that is why Ivysaur is kind of a ghost type. So there you go. All right, come on, who's gonna catch? We've got seven people in queue right now. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna get the first throw? We gotta wait a few seconds here. Any time now, there you go. Okay, yours truly is going for the first throw. One spin, two spin. Three spin. And it pops out. Shit. Okay, number two. Johnny Cage going in first. Second Pokemon, first Pokemon. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Rob, the last second. Here we go. Scrammy going in. This could be huge for her. She needs to upgrade her team a bit. Oh, you hate to see it, Chet. You hate to see it. Ah. Oh. Uh, let me just check real quick. Let me just check real quick and see if I have to do a bean redeem. I can't remember. I, th I think... Oh, wait, it was a wheel spin. I can't remember. Do I have to do a hot bean? I think I do. Somebody... Is, was it a wheel? A hot bean? Okay. So we're going to do a hot bean chat, and then we're going to end stream. Hello. Where is my thing? It was yours? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. So we got a hot bean. All right, regular guy. Because you won the beautiful wheel spin, uh, which bean do you want? So anyone here that's not familiar with the Bean Boozle Challenge, this is the Fiery Five. So there is a set of beans, a Sriracha, a Jalapeno, a Cayenne, a Habanero, and a Carolina Reaper. So that is this right there. That's the Scoble. I don't know if you can see because it it's all trying to blur. But uh, what bean do you want? Or do we go random, regular guy? What do you want? We're going to give it a shake. We're going to give it a shake. You want to go rando? I love it. I love rando. Here we go. Okay. So I'm not even going to look. Not even going to look. Here I go. Going random. Going random. What do we got? What bean is it? What bean is it? Oh, I think we've seen this one before. Is this? This is Cayenne, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the, what, second hottest one? The third hottest one. So this one's right in the middle, chat. So hold on to your butts. This one's for you, regular guy. Thank you so much for the uh, resub earlier today. I really appreciate it. Four months here at the Fuzz Factory. Love to see it, man. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's get it on. Whoa! -ho! Wowza. At first. Wow. Wow, it tastes just like the powder. At first, I thought it was cola. I was pleasantly surprised. It had a hint of sweetness. Wow. That's a hot bean, chat. Ooh, it, it, just a hint of sweet, and then boom, hot. Wow, wow, that's hot. Okay, chat. Woo. Well, it is that time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit.
So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Big, big shout out to everyone who tuned in tonight. I know you guys have lots of options when it comes to your entertainment needs. Thank you so much for spending your Monday night here at the Fuzz Factory. I hope you guys, <clears throat> I hope you guys had fun playing Hollywood Squares. Um, I know I sure did. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to hit that follow button so you miss any of the action. I am going to be back on Wednesday. I think we're going to play some Jeopardy. And then Friday, I know what we're going to do. I kind of want to do GeoGuessr again. Let me know what you guys want to say. Oh, thanks so much for dropping the Discord. Yeah, if you guys want to drop the, or join the Discord, totally free, totally optional. Uh, but you can hang out in there with us outside of stream. And uh, I know we talk about food, pets, sports, all that fun stuff. So if you want to hang out, feel free to hop in there. We'd love to have you. Uh, I am going to raid Cassius because I've never raided him before. So uh, be sure to stu I don't know, stick around for that and just show him some love. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he's a big, big pinballer, Scott. So if you have any questions about him, uh, maybe ask him some, some questions. But uh, if I don't see you guys, I hope you guys all have an absolutely fantastic week. Take care. Stay safe. And as always, I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Let's go show Cassius some love. Tell him Fuzz sent you. Thank you so much for the resubs and the biddies, Dennis. Um, yeah, have a great night, everybody. Cheers.